Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video we are making the infamous uh, Bombay potatoes and uh, this one is a typically Indian uh, street food, very known, very famous, so hi to all my Indian followers. Um, I personally love the Indian cuisine, very nice bold flavors to it, love the spice. Um, so uh, it's super easy to make and uh, it's just the smell, the taste, everything about it is just amazing from start to finish so let's show you guys how to make it for the infamous bombay potatoes here we have about one kilogram of baby potatoes uh that of course we've washed and cleaned um two uh medium onions that we've sliced any type um any type uh two medium tomatoes that we've cut into uh big uh cubes that we've diced um of course we have here uh two large chilies you can use as much or as little as you want this is all up to your preferences um, a tablespoon of uh, ginger garlic paste for the spices here we have half a teaspoon each so I have turmeric uh, chili powder uh, coriander powder cumin uh, garam masala and uh, pepper and here we have a teaspoon of the um, a famous Indian uh, punch puran I hope I'm pronouncing it right and uh, it's a uh, Indian spice mix consists of five spices we have here some water for the potatoes, um, four tablespoons of uh, oil, uh, about three bay leaves, uh, seven to eight curry leaves. Uh, for garnish, we're going to use uh, some uh, parsley. And of course, we have some salt over here. So for garnish, uh, I mistook uh, parsley for coriander, but this is coriander, and it's one of the few occasions you'll see coriander used. So our first step is to cut the potatoes in half. And now we're just going to boil them in some water. Now on medium heat, we heat up our pan and then we just add the oil, uh, wait for it to heat up a little bit and then add the bay leaves and curry leaves and uh, saute them for a little bit. So uh, after a few minutes of sautéing the bay leaves and the curry leaves, we're just going to add the panchpuran and sauté them until you start to hear the popping sound. Next, you add in your onions and sauté them uh, until they turn uh, transparent. Once they're transparent, you add in your ginger garlic paste and saute them uh, until you no longer smell that raw, uh, pungent smell of garlic. Next, you're going to add in your chilies and saute them for a few minutes as well. So after a few minutes of sautéing the chilies uh, with the onions and the onions have turned this nice uh, golden brown color, it's time to add in the tomatoes and uh, sauté those as well. So we're going to sauté those until uh, the tomatoes uh, start to open up and release their um, waters or liquid. So as you can see, the tomatoes have started to loosen up. So now we're just going to add the salt and the spices and uh, mix it all together so that everything incorporates well with each other. So once all the spices have mixed together, it smells absolutely delicious and uh, nice and spicy. So now you're just going to uh, add the water and uh, just eyeball it. So we don't want to add too little, but we don't want to add too much. Eyeball the water, mix it all together and just let it uh, simmer on medium heat for 5 to 7 minutes. So uh, after a few minutes, this is what it should look like. Uh, it's nice and uh, thick. It's a nice thick consistency. The smell is heavenly. The smell of spices. That's why I really love the, the Indian cuisine. Because the smell of the spices and uh, all those nice bold flavors really come through in recipes. And that's what makes all the recipes so unique in their own ways. So we are down to our last step and this last step we're just going to uh, 
strain our potatoes from the water which they should have been uh, they should have cooked by now and we're just going to strain them and uh, mix them all uh, together so that they're very nice and well coated in the mixture and then we're just going to uh, leave them for a few minutes to absorb all the flavors and uh, it will be time to serve them So this is what it looks like. Uh, the smell is amazing. I really just love the nice uh, colors. And then you have, of course, the, um, cilantro, the coriander on top. Uh, cilantro, coriander, same thing. But the coriander on top, you can smell the freshness out of it, uh, even though uh, to me, it smells very much like soap. I don't know why, uh, but um, you get that nice hint of freshness from it. Um, so I really can't wait to try it. I served it in this um, pot, I guess. Uh, because personally, I love when I go to restaurants and they serve in these because it just it's very nice, I guess, and aesthetic and all of that. So was one of the things I really had to get when I remember seeing uh, in restaurants. I saw them and they were so pretty. I decided I had to get one of these. So we also served it on a regular plate just to show you guys an overview of what it looks like. The colors, of course, um, and uh, all the spices you can see, of course, the vibrancy and everything. Smells amazing. So I can't wait to dig in. So uh, let's try one. Uh, the taste, it tastes exactly like it smells. Um, nice, vibrant um, flavors, bold flavors, I guess. Um, there's that hint of spice. And uh, when I tried it, just the just everything together before I added the potatoes to test for the salt, um, I did find it to be actually very spicy, but with the potatoes, they absorb the spice so it's not as spicy um super delicious uh super easy to make highly recommend trying it because the taste the smell everything about it is just amazing wonderful go and try it that's the end of today's video i hope that you guys enjoyed watching it and if you like this kind of content please like share subscribe comment down below and uh follow me so you guys can support me to make more content i'm available on facebook instagram discord and tiktok thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye